This Galapagos volcano produced a mesmerizing river of fire after eruption. There was a huge orange light, said Mr. Vela Francesca, who was on a scientific expedition in the area when Wolf Volcano began spewing ash and lava. It was very, very difficult to miss. Neither the ash clouds nor the lava cascading down the volcano slopes posed a safety risk to the people on the expedition. So Mr. Vela Francesca, 28, took out his camera and started shooting. For days afterward, he and a handful of other people captured remarkable images of a river of fire snaking for miles in an orange line, so bright it was visible from space. Other cultures see volcanoes as gods and the wrath of nature speaking to us, they said. But we don't fear them, that's for sure, he added. Ours aren't explosive or violent. They are very, very gentle and they last for a long time. It's just mesmerizing to see. Some volcanic eruptions are notable for their sheer force. The recent one off the coast of Tonga, for example, produced hundreds of times the mechanical energy created when the United States military leveled Hiroshima, Japan, with an atomic bomb in August 1945, according to a NASA analysis. Such volcanoes produce explosive ash clouds when gas bubbles become pressurized because they cannot escape from sticky magmas beneath the ground. So Michael Stock, the professor of geochemistry and at the University of Dublin in Ireland. The magmas erupted on wolf volcanoes do not contain very much gas, but they are also very hot and runny, which allows any gas bubbles which are present to easily escape. Professor Stock said, for this reason, the system doesn't become pressurized and consistently produces relatively benign lava flows. The wolf eruption was visually spectacular in parts because it happened on a moonless night and more than 60 miles from the nearest human settlement, according to George Carrion and Washington Tapia Aguilera, two scientists with the Galapagos Conservancy, a non-profit based in Virginia. What volcano is the largest and tallest volcano in the Galapagos Islands, an archipelago about 600 miles west of continental Ecuador? A nearby volcano on the same island Isabella is named after Charles Darwin, who came up with the theory of evolution after studying finches on the archipelago in the 1830s. When Wolf erupted, Mr. Vela Francesca and others were in the area as part of a naturalist expedition. After the eruption, the exp expedition became a mission to rescue park rangers and scientists. The passengers on those helicopters had an up-close view of molten lava as it crept down the volcano's southeastern flag. Mr. Cookson said in an email that at some point, lava was being thrown up to 200 feet in the air. The pilots weren't very comfortable, said Mr. Vela Francesca, who was on a support ship that the helicopters used as a staging ground for flights over the lava. No one was killed or injured as a result of the eruption. In the days after those helicopters, Helicopter flights. Cooksey Adventures arranged to fly Gustavo Miranda, Ecuador's environment minister, into the area so that he could assess the risk to biodiversity. The primary concern was the pink iguana, a species that lived on Wolf Volcano and was seen for the first time only in 1986. The lava hasn't quite cooled yet. Fresh lava was still flowing from Wolf Volcano as of last week, according to Mr. Vela Francesca and Hai Consari. The Geophysical Institute, a research organization in Ecuador, said last month that the wolf volcano eruptive activity was decreasing. It also said that wolf may yet spring back to life, just as it did during its last eruptive phase in May and June of 2015. Residents of the Galapagos tend to welcome eruptions because they draw attention to a place where nature tourism drives the economy, he said. And the archipelago's black and red volcanic deposits are constant reminders of how it was formed in the first place. It's all over the place, he said. We see fields of lava everywhere. Wow. This really makes sense. And whatever you have to say concerning this, you drop your comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.